Name of this episode should have been called What About Your Friends? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We are back again for another episode review of Catfish Shaw. This is season eight, episode 58. Haley and Brittany, y'all, before we get into this review, y'all already know how my church announcements go. It ain't nothing new. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Make sure your notification bells are turned on so you don't miss. None of this hot fire I got for y'all. Y'all already see, got the nails done, bye bye. And I'm pointing at your baby daddy in the Walmart. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you hear me that up there? I'm so short. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> y'all know all the ratchets get white. My toes is white too. Anyways, do. First of all, don't come for me because I ain't sent for you. Yes, this review is late. Your girl just, you know, I've been trying to get multiple streams of income going on aside from my work. And this little paycheck I get from the YT, it's cute. Pay for your, your phone bill, your cable bill. You know what I'm saying? It's cute. I ain't complaining because it is another stream of income. But I be doing extra shit. Be trying to get my little, you know, little coin dealers popping or whatnot. I am just saying, but y'all ain't come here for this. Y'all came here for this review. Yo, it was cute the way it ended. It was interesting in the middle. Again, the name of this episode should have been called What About Your Friends? But yeah, it was cute. I mean, it was given what needed to have been given for this episode, for the whole situation that was going on. It wasn't full of drama like I would have liked it to be. It was a little going on, a little couple of questions that was in there. But yeah, it was cute. I mean, it gave what it had given for the time that it was given. But look here, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this review. I got my little ratchet blue drink. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review. Ooh. Sound a little gentlemanly-ish there. Hold on. Because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get up into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So, we have Aaliyah. Aaliyah wrote, on, wrote in on behalf of her little sister, Haley. Okay? Haley is from H-Town. She has been talking to this chick named Brittany for the last year. Brittany is from D.C. They met, um, Aaliyah said they met on the For You page of Instagram, something like that. That's how they've been talking, right? Now, they were both in a relationship when they first started talking, so they didn't really pursue anything. They were, you know, focused on the relationships that they were in. Over the last few months, they reconnected because neither one of them are in a relationship, and so they started back talking again from there, right? Now, Although she has never talked to Brittany on the phone, never FaceTimed her, she is, um, you know, she she's in love with her. She wants to be with her. Brittany has always made up excuses as to why she can't FaceTime with her on the phone. Mind you, she has an iPhone. So when they text, she sees that she's read her messages. Y'all already know what an iPhone, you can FaceTime. Ain't no damn excuse why you can't FaceTime. But she tells her that her phone is broken. Y'all know the, the classic BS that they tell them whenever they can't talk to them on the phone, right? Now, she says that um, she's in love with Brittany. She, um, although, like I said, they never talk on the phone, never FaceTime. She is planning on making her second trip out to D.C. to see Brittany. First time she went out there, sent Brittany a text message, was like, hey, I'm in your city. What's good? What's popping? She said Brittany stood her up. Read the message, left her ass on red. Didn't respond back or nothing. A week or so later, responds back to her talking about, I've been real busy this whole week. Really? You been that busy? But okay. Hey, if you, if you like it, I love it. Now, the only pictures that she has of Britney are pictures that she are, that Britney already has on her IG. She don't have no personal pictures of her. She also has a picture that Britney sent her of her and her breast, her best friend, um, her best friend's name is Alexis or Lexi or something like that. Um, Haley says she never seen a chick before. So it was a surprise to her when she got this photo of her and this chick claiming to be her best friend. Right. So she, um, also said that she had got a, a text message that morning from Brittany that she didn't want her sister Aaliyah to see. The text message said, because she had already told Brittany that she's planning on coming out there to DC next week to see her. 
Britney sends her a message talking about, I don't think this is the right time for you to come out here and see me. Now, bitch, if that ain't all kind of flags right there, I don't know what's going on. Because this would have been your second time. She done stood you up the first time. But what Haley say, she's still planning on going out there next week. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes down to the investigation, y'all. They start with her IG and can't find it. They thinking that maybe Haley misspelled it. And they sent Haley a message like, hey, did you spell her IG wrong or something? Because we can't find her own here. Haley says she goes and looks. Come to find out the page is gone. It's not there no goddamn more, right? They end up searching the phone number. The phone number comes back a dead end. They end up searching the BFF Silly Lily, because they say they saw her Twitter handle on the picture that um, Brittany had sent to Haley. Now they end up finding Brittany's Twitter page from Silly Lily's um, Twitter page that she had up there, right? Now from there, they end up finding Brittany's IG page. So it took them, see, that's why y'all got to be careful. And um, Haley Boo Boo, you could have did this investigation on your own. All they did was go to Silly Lily's page that took them to Haley's Twitter page that took them to Haley's current IG page. Bada bing, bada boom. You had shit off right there. Now they end up sending Silly Lily a message. Child, Silly goddamn Lily. She ends up FaceTiming them back saying that, you know, Haley, I mean, I'm sorry, Haley, Brittany is her best friend and she would know if Brittany was talking to some other chick. Now she says she ain't never heard of God dog on Haley. She don't know who she is, nothing like that. Uh -uh. And Brittany is her grudge. She just told her that. Now she does claim that Brittany has been in a relationship with somebody off and on. She thinks they're on right now, but she's not too sure. She does say she's gonna holler at Brittany, let Brittany know what's good, and have Brittany come back and holler at them, right? Another thing she tells them is that Brittany is super active on her TikTok. From the, uh, after they had hung up with Silly Lily, they end up going to Britney's TikTok and seeing she got hundreds of doggone TikTok videos. And of course, they get back with Haley on everything they find. And Haley ain't know nothing about the new IG or the goddamn TikTok. But you flying out there next week. Okay, sis, you go off, girl. So they end up, like I said, getting back with Haley, giving her all the tea that they found out about Brittany. And of course, she heartbroken, she sad, she crying, but her makeup was beat. Haley, girl, if you in Austin, Texas, come holler at your auntie so you can beat my face, girl. Her makeup was cute. I give you that. So from here, they end up sending, uh, sending Brittany a message. This jigs up, okay? I'm here with Haley. She trying to see you what's good. She ends up sending a message right back right away and was like, look here. I really want to meet her. I just don't think now is a good time. I can't get off of work like that. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with these excuses. Thank God Neve is a vet in the game. He know how to finesse these bitches, right? So he was like, look here. I give you to Thursday. That's two days. I'm going to need you to highlight your boss. Tell him it's a family emergency. And you're going to need this time off. Because we coming out. We're going to be waiting on you at the door. Whether you're going to be there or not, nigga, we on the way. So the next day, they get, you know, fly out to Maryland or whatnot because she ends up sending them an address where she's at. They at the hotel and um, Haley ends up getting a text message that morning from Brittany. Meet me at this park. I'm on my way there now. As they leaving at the hotel to go meet Brittany at the park, it's some chick that comes to one of the producers is like, hey, look, I need to holler at me for a second. You feel me? The producer's like, okay. I'm going to need y'all to get Neve. We got a bitch out here talking about she need to talk to him. We got a, probably got a 411 out here. Crazy bitch on the loose. I'm over now. They end up getting Neve to come outside. Bitch, it is Silly Lily. Silly Lily say she hollered at Brittany. They put the uh, pieces together. They figured out who it is. And the person that she finna go meet ain't really who she think it is. It ain't Britney. It's somebody that Britney knows, but she don't want to embarrass their family. So she came there on behalf of Britney and them or her family and them to stand out and say, look here, it ain't who you think it is. You're going to be wasting your time going there. Hey, if I was you, I'd go ahead to the house, you know? Nothing, nothing else to see here, folks. Neve was like, bitch, you must think I'm goddamn crazy. How I know it ain't your goddamn ass? How I know that ain't you sitting up here playing like you Britney? She said, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me at all. But I know who it is, and, and they ain't finna be there. 
Neve said, that's all good. I'm gonna need you to get Brittany on the phone. She can verify that. Not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying, bitch, I don't know you. It's a difference. Homegirl say, okay, let me go ahead and call her real quick. This bitch goes to her car, starts the car up, and you know, drives the hell on up out of that camera said, now where that bitch go? Homegirl hops in the car and got them dips. I mean, the bitch is gone. She fled the scene. I mean, she fled the bitch. Next thing you know, they all standing there like, now what the hell was that that just goddamn happened? Child, then Haley gets a text message from Brittany saying, I'm almost at the park. They like, now what the hell is this shit going on? Child, they go ahead to the park, not knowing who the hell they gonna see. They thinking, okay, it got to be this crazy bitch, silly Lily. This bitch doing some silly shit. Girl, they pull up to the park, walk down the way. Who was that on the horizon? They see, bitch, it's Brittany. It was really her. She was really talking to Haley the whole goddamn time. So they like, okay, now, what the hell is going on here? Because we just seen, seen your home, girl, and we kind of confused. Brittany said, yeah, that's been me. I've been talking to Haley the whole time. What's up? What's good? Haley like, nah, bitch, you got some splaining to do. Neve is like, well, we just seen your home, girl, silly Lily. She met us at the hotel at the little mosey Wosey talking about it's somebody in your family that they didn't want to embarrass the family and she came to speak on behalf of y'all because y'all put the puzzle pieces together. It's somebody out here doing something strange. Really, what the hell is going on? Brittany don't know shit about that. Brittany said, I, ain't I told her I was coming here to meet her, but I ain't tell her that shit. Uh -uh. Child, come to find out, which we think, Silly Lily is in love with Brittany on the cool, only Brittany don't know that shit. Mm-hmm. So she tried to basically step in and try to sabotage the shit on the cool, right? But it's actually the real Brittany. Her and Haley sit off to the top, I mean, to the side. They talk, they hit it off, they vibing, they kiss or whatnot. It's cute. You know, it's always cute when a catfish ain't the catfish, they the real person. It's cute. And so they do like the little two-month checkup. They are together. Come to find out, Brittany actually moved to Texas with Haley. Moved there, um, I think she said New Year's Day when that when she moved in. They're a couple. They're happy. They're together. They're in love. Brittany said she hollered at her homegirl, Haley. Haley claimed she was just looking out for her best interest, and she didn't want to see her get hurt. Now, bitch, we know what's really good. You was in love with her. We already know. Girl, you ain't fooling nobody. But look here, y'all. That was the end of the episode. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out.